Hey everybody, Sports Live in the ATL. David here. Welcome to Premier Monday, April 5th. New Year, New Year for me has already started, and uh, I'm looking forward to what this year is going to bring for me. Again, Road to 3K. Please click the subscribe button, share it to your media outlets, tell your friends, your family about it, uh, tweet it out, etc. Click the like button, dislike button. Have a great time. Subscribe to the channel. Let's get it going. If you care to support the channel, Cash App, PayPal, and Super Chat are available. Now, first, before I get to everything else, again, I want to say thank you for everybody who made my birthday vacation, my birthday, actual actual birthday fun, one of the best birthdays I've had in a long time. I'm not going to go over and rehash it, but thank you to all of you. Uh, a year older, it's older, but it makes me more appreciative, more wiser for the wear, and more focused uh, to continue my path to success and bigger things and live for yourself gonna live for me and what I want to do so anyway uh, before I uh, you know get to when my game streams is gonna be this week uh, let's talk some news shall we the Braves first of all the Braves all-star team the all-star game that was gonna happen here in Atlanta has been taken away from us I've, I've been asked what my thoughts on it are don't care I wasn't gonna go anyway Sure, it's great for the city and all that, but Atlanta Atlanta will survive. Atlanta has a lot of uh, things to do here. Uh, it would have been nice to, to have it, but do you really want an event like that considering the fact that we're still under the COVID pandemic? You know, I mean, it's not like when it's not like when we had the uh, NBA All-Star game here that uh, it was, I mean, it was crowded, but I mean, it was barely, it, fans couldn't come in. So what's the point of having it if you can't have anybody and also, if you have people here, you could risk getting sick. So the Major League Baseball All-Star Game has been taken away. I think I may have said NBA. I'm not sure at the beginning. But Major League Baseball All-Star Game for next year has been taken out. Uh, who knows? Maybe the COVID pandemic will still be going on then. Who knows? I mean, we don't really know. Um, but the reasons why they took it out, I have no idea. I don't care, to be quite real with you. Uh, but they'll be back at some point. It is late next year, I do believe. Uh, the Atlanta Braves were swept by the Philadelphia Phillies. I talked about it yesterday. Uh, a good, a extremely good, great pitching series. I stand corrected. Phillies outscored the Braves nine runs to three in three games. So if you would have told me the Braves would have allowed nine runs in Philadelphia, Braves would have taken at least two, but we didn't. Balls didn't bounce our way. Umpire calls didn't bounce our way. Uh, we made some middle mistakes um, that cost us and uh, just wasn't meant to be. So... Uh, moving forward from that, congrats again to the Phillies for being in first place right now, I guess. 3-0, whoever. But, like I said, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. Uh, next, the Braves will play the Nationals. The Nationals were scheduled to play the Braves today at 4-5, but that game was postponed. But uh, confirmation came out that the no more negatives test. So, the Braves and the Nationals will kick off Tuesday and Wednesday. I don't know when that uh, game today is going to be made up, but they're going to play at least Tuesday Wednesday. No more no positive tests over there in Washington with the Nationals, and that's good. Uh, now we get some baseball because I need to get this bad taste out of my mouth with the Braves sweep. Uh, fun hanging out with Aikles Productions uh, yesterday in his live stream. And uh, we broadcasted a tough loss but had a good time. Uh, the pitcher was to, today for the Braves was Smiley um, against Scherzer. Don't know how that uh, the baseball rotation is going to be set for the rest of the series since today's game is postponed, but we shall see. Stay tuned. So let's go into Washington tomorrow. Let's get some get the bats going and get some get some wins. Um, my Flames lose to the Leafs four to two. Calgary stinks. The honeymoon with uh, Daryl Sutter returning is over. Has been over. Uh, he played. The Flames were winning early when we when he first got back here. But this team is unwatchable for me. It clearly is unwatchable because it's either the same thing every game. It's either we jump out to a lead, blow it, they and, and we lose, or we fall behind early, can't battle back and lose. Uh, it's just it's. It's frustrating because I know the Flames have a lot more talent, uh, you know, than what they're showing. Uh, I'm not saying they're not trying, but they're not winning games. So I think it's time to start breaking up this team and try to get some playmakers in here because Goudreau, Giordano, um, Sean Monahan, um, Kachuk, they're not winning games. They're not winning hockey games. And um, trying to get into the playoffs, and you're losing hockey games, you're losing at home. Uh, you're not coming out with the aggressiveness to kick them in the mouth. And post game is the same thing. We got to get it going. No, you had to get it going two week two weeks ago. 
So I don't know, but it's still my team. But the, the Flames lose again to the Leafs. So congratulations to all you Leafs fans out there. I know quite a bit of y'all. Um, the Hawks, uh, on a, after getting their eight-game win streak snapped on the West Coast uh, trip in that blown game against the Clippers and disappointing loss to the Sacramento Kings and uh, the letdown in Phoenix, uh, the Hawks rebounded well, beating the Spurs 134-129 in double overtime. Uh, I broadcasted that game. Thank you for the guys who came in and supported that live stream. It was a good one. Then the next night, we beat the uh, Pelicans 126-103. Um, and that was great. We didn't, you know, we, we rested Trey Young and John Collins is still out. And DeAndre Hunter's still out, but the backups came in. And then we beat the Warriors last night. Yes, we beat the Warriors in Golden State last week without Stephen Curry, but he was here today. No excuses. They had Stephen Curry, Jake Draymond Green. Yes, I know Curry's trying to get back in the rhythm, but the dude had 37 points. Um, and uh, Hawks won 117-111. Golden State clearly a much better team with Curry on the floor. Uh Kudos to the way the Hawks battled back and forth. And um, Gallinari's playing some really good basketball now. And uh, Bogdanovich is playing some good basketball now. Tony Snell, Kevin Herter. Kudos to Clint Capella. Thank you, Stephen Rose. Clint Capella is beasting. I've been saying this a lot during the live streams that I do that I'm really glad that we got a big man finally. You know, if, if Clint Capella can just, just clean up him missing layups and easy shots sometimes, who knows where this guy will be. But clearly he's a... He's a hoss under the basket, uh, rebounds and, and blocking shots, double doubles, scoring points, dunking. A great addition to this ball club. So I'm glad that uh, we got him last year, and he's making a huge impact this year. And the Hawks are 26 and 24, fourth in the Eastern Conference, but they can't rest on the laurels because between four and eight is one game or one and a half games. So got to keep winning. Uh, the upcoming schedule this week for the Hawks is versus uh, New Orleans tomorrow night at 7.30 in Atlanta. Definitely a winnable game. Can't take any team lightly, but definitely a winnable game. Memphis, 8 o'clock on Wednesday. I plan on streaming that game. Not 100% yet, but uh, keep a lookout on my community posts. But that Memphis game on Wednesday night is a 60-40 chance to stream the game. Uh, then Friday night, the Hawks host the Chicago Bulls. Last time we faced the Bulls was opening day, and we blasted them by like, 20 plus points, and at one point we we're up by 40. Um, then Sunday, we're at the Charlotte Hornets at 12:30. That Bulls game is at 8 o'clock. So we'll see how that goes with the schedule this week. Uh, obviously, I got premieres to do Wednesday and Friday. Um, I will be doing the uh, Braves Nationals on Wednesday at 4:05 p.m. Eastern time, if the time is the same, because that was originally scheduled for the game. Uh, but if that stays the same, I'll definitely do the game on Wednesday. Try to have a Tomahawk takeover earlier in the day, in the afternoon, uh, so I can have time to talk about uh, the week that was the Braves and, you know, just chat with you guys before the game uh, uh, kicks off on uh, Wednesday at 4 or 5 p.m. Eastern time because to my knowledge, they haven't changed uh, the time schedule yet. So, and again, thanks to everybody who made my birthday really, 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 really good. Uh, another thing, final thing I want to talk about in this premiere, when will Atlanta sports step up and win a championship? You know, I have said this in many different ways, many different avenues, platforms, and media. When is Atlanta going to step up and win a championship? When are the Hawks going to step up and win an NBA title? You know, constantly getting uh, talent throughout the years, haven't won anything. Eastern Finals is the farthest they went. When are the Braves going to step up and win a, and, and, and win a championship again? Got one in 95, so many blown opportunities in the 90s and, you know, in the 2000s. And in the last three seasons, we won the National League East. We blew a three. We had this debacle against the Cardinals in that 10-run first inning. In a, in a game five at home, we lost, I think, a wild card game or something. I don't remember. And then last year, we blew a three games to one lead in the NLCS against the Dodgers. Should have advanced to the World Series. Had three chances to win one game. Two of those games we led, game five and game seven. Maybe even all three, but I know we led in game seven and game five. So, and um, the Falcons, when are y'all going to win a championship? All the talent that keeps popping through here. You know, it's, it's really, you know, as, as I reflect on, on, on my sports fan, fandom and fanhood with Atlanta teams, I've said this a million times, it's extremely difficult being an Atlanta fan because we want to win so bad. The loyal fans here want to wanna, wanna see the laughing of our, of, of our city get stopped. You know, we want to see our teams 
uh, win championships, you know, be rewarded for the for the players that they bring in because Atlanta teams bring a lot of a lot of really good players throughout uh, the years, but just cannot seem to to put it together when it matters most. Something something up here mentally says we're not going to do it, but yet other teams are able to make plays, suck it up, and win championships. It really gets annoying. And I'm serious. It really gets annoying to see on a on a on a year to year basis. You know, sometimes there have been years where the Braves, the Hawks, and the Falcons in Georgia have all done it in the same year and let me down in the same year. I mean, that's that's four doses of why. So um, that's all I wanted to say about that right there. Uh, we'll see. Hopefully, we'll get it turned around again. Thanks everybody. Subscribe to the channel. Road to 3K is still in full effect. Click the like dislike buttons. I don't care which one you do. Share it to your media outlets. Tell everybody about it. Click the notification bell so you know when the content is uploading. And enjoy yourself. When I come in and do my premieres, chat with the people, enjoy the game streams, enjoy the videos. Thank you very much for tuning in on this Monday, Premier Monday, Sports Live in the ATL. I'll see you in the next one.